You guys are live. Um, I'll take care of the uh, elephant section. All right. Here, right, cool. it. Good. Yep. All right. We got uh, Ball Hogs and Funk Masters. Ball Hogs, the new D2 team in red, undefeated right now. You want to move the? You want to do the yeah. finding ball this time? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how I do that with him. All right. Megan down there. Alex, Alex Ortiz stops. A new closer if you're gonna commentate. Oh, yeah. Alex, a newcomer in D2, uh, plays on uh, Red Coats in D1 and uh, TNT in the Gwendolyn Guardians on Wednesdays, but uh, new to D2 on Sundays. And that's Brett eating down the icing. Alright. Ah, icing is still called, so it'll go down to there. Mm -hmm. Looks like Simon is out there on defense. Mm -hmm. uh, Alex shuts on uh, center. Yep. Very speedy uh, matchup between Alex Ortiz and Alex Shuts out there. Uh, with Funk taking the uh, face off. Call. And Teal beats down the icing. All right. Real, real speed on her part to get there. Not something you see every day from Teal. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the time she's uh, just running through people, not uh, running to the ball. But oh. very low key, a very, very fast player. You just don't see it too often. It's like the ball hogs have uh, Owen and Chris Thorpe on D. Both of them not, um. not normally defenders, but uh, still very good at the position. Mm -hmm. Great poke by Owen and Becca. Chris has it. You see Owen getting uh, open for him. Chris has a lot of space back there, and he's now has Dan running at him. Oh boy. Adam trying to get it from Simon, but Simon gets it out first. Nearly nails the ref in the head there. Damn. I, I don't see any too bad calls going. Uh, so far for them. <laughs> Simon dumps it. it looks that like he got the neutral zone. Um, yeah, I would... Looks like a. So it was an icing call. It looks like an icing. It All right. Like he got in the neutral zone, but, uh, I thought so too. You know what? <coughs> it's the ref's call. Now you can talk. It's fine. <laughs> it looks like we got Keith and Alex taking the face off. This is so difficult. <laughs> it's like there's that Sean behind the ball making some moves. Alex with the stop, Owen. passes over to Owen. Oh! Alex tried to get a stick on it, but overran the ball. Yeah, there's no way you're getting on the stream, Ben. You're too far. Oh, sometimes you just gotta be a little bit slower out there. It looks like we have Jason Maxine and uh, Daniel Ruberg online. Yeah. Ooh, good stop. Shot on goal. Keith with a wrister. Those things are very, very fast coming off the stick. Uh, and Mel stops it, I think, with her face. Whatever works. That's why you wear a mask out there. Especially if you're in goal. Off the net. Spin move. Yeah, hey Ben, you gotta be louder if you wanna be on the stream. Okay, okay. We're closer. Yeah. Unfortunately, Ben, not the loudest commentator. And there's Brett getting to the ball, looking for Nick behind the goal. It's a real Moser matchup today. We got Nick Moser in red on ball hogs and Neil, his father, on funk in uh, green. Becca, great job getting the ball out of the zone by her. Keep keeping 
had him off the ball right there. Yeah, Smell is in the white. <laughs> Is in white. She's in first lady's uh, goalie jersey. Right, and Ben taking a quick step off to get the extension cord so we can charge the phone. Otherwise, you would not be able to watch this wonderful stream. Back go with a clear. Oh, it will be stopped. With a shot on net, real hard slapper. Charging, all right. Shots with the speed there. Ortiz puts in the corner. Holding it there, being pinned down. Ooh, good save by Mel. I think so. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it went in New Jersey. Yep. Back into the corner. Crystal taking it around the net. Puts it up. Oh, good stop by Nick Mosier. Send it into the other zone. It's hard to rotate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're good then. Oh, bouncing out here. Over to Keith. He's taking it around to the shot on goal, blocked.
Oh, good stop by Ortiz. Taking it into the zone with a shot on goal. Oh! Holding it behind the net. Oh. This is so much harder than it should be. Yeah. And Bohogs almost get it out, but Tron was there to block it. There's Brett carrying it up. Alex doing a good job of getting open at the point while the D-man's going up there. Shot on goal, Alex shuts, carrying it in there. Blocked by Mel. Shuts will keep the ball, passes it back to Megan Noyes. Oh, Ooh. great so move by our D's. Absolutely. Adam Marcus helped him out right there. Pass it over Rebecca. Then we have uh, Chris and Megan fighting for the ball. Keith goes in to join them. Comes away with it. Uh, nice little mix up there. Sean carrying it in the zone. He looks like he's about a head of steam going to try to get a shot on. Ooh. He tries to pass it to Neil, but it gets right off his stick. Keith put it on goal. While it was off sides. Ooh, shot on goal while off sides. That goes all the way back into their yep. uh, D zone. A little bit over there. And that's not us. <laughs> and there's a minute 20 left. Um, that looks like it's for the lacrosse game right next door. Which, in between periods, we can give you a nice footage of. <laughs> a little bit more high scoring than ours. Their game is 15 to 6. Ours is a nice 0-0 uh, zero, zero draw right now. As of now. We have another Ooh. two periods in a minute to play. Yep. Chris gets it back there. Adam carrying it up, gets a shot Ooh. on goal on Eric. A lot of these guys playing on teams, other teams together. Eric Tavner, the goalie for the London Arabian Knights. And Neil Moser also. Uh, on the Arabian Nights from Funkmaster and uh, Becca and Teal and Adam Marcus and Nick Moser are all from Ballhogs. Yeah, also on the Arabians. And your two streamers as well. Hey yo. Alex doing a great job in the corner right there. Eric gets a stick on it, but uh, they're getting some good shots on goal. Ouch. That was Jeez, a, I couldn't even see that. That was a, uh, Mel doing a great job of getting in front of that, though. Yeah, all right, end of the first period, it is still 0-0. Yeah, these, this Funkmasters team, they're a team when they have their full lineup show up there, they can compete with anyone in D2. Um, they certainly have like, a lineup today. Yeah, today is, is one of those days where uh, all the pieces are here. Uh, 
they really are putting the heat on the ball hog. Um, Mel has had some great saves up there. And some of these funk masters have some bullets for shots. Mm -hmm. uh, Eric has been seeing more of the uh, finesse shot action and uh, shots from the baseline inside of the goal. You want to take over for this job? Sure. Okay, and second period all is almost underway. We see Mel and Eric in their respective goals. Patrick Noyes is uh, one of your referees. About to drop the ball. We got Nick Moser and Alex Schutt, Blade Runners teammates. And the ball goes into the ball hog zone where Owen has it. Gets it up to Adam. Adam shot on goal. A little bit wide though. Simon's trying to get it around Adam. Simon gets it up and hits the backboard in the middle right there. That is going to be a uh, dead ball. It is not a penalty, but it is a uh, D zone draw for the Funk Master Redux. So we got Nick and uh, Alex back at it. Right with a shot from the point. It goes wide. Simon's got it down low. Brett with another shot right there. And Maddie Vale with a great job, great positioning. She gets the rebound in. And Ball Hogs are now on the board. 1-0 with 14 minutes left in the second period. So that's, that's what happens when you, your defensemen do a great job of keeping into the zone, uh, getting some hard shots on goal. Uh, that's rebounds. Many goals. Many, many goals are scored off rebounds, and it looks like Ball Hogs are switching up a little bit. They are uh, rotating their players. Chris is now on wing instead of D. Uh, I think the ball just went out through the door or something. Yeah. Um, always crazy how that seems to happen. Uh, and we got a D zone draw for the Ball Hogs. It looks like it was them who hit it out. And now we have uh, Dave Sidhu gets right on, and. Simon with the point shot, a little bit too high. Ball is in the corner. Dave trying to get it out. And he gets around Megan, and let's see, he gets it in the zone. Chris Thorpe, great pass to Becca. Chris right there, and Chris Thorpe Another. off Becca. Great run by Chris, using that really lanky reach of his. Uh, I don't know what you call it, but it, it, it works. Uh, so now the score is 2-0 for the Ball Hogs. Alex Ortiz and Keith taking the uh, face off. Alex, Alex Ortiz winning it forward. Um, and we've got Maddie getting Ooh. the ball to Alex. And the ball's oh. right across the crease. They nearly got another one right there. Keith running at Teal gets right around her. Uh, yeah, no, that, that shot is a, a hard shot. Let's see if Dave was able to beat Keith there for the ball, and Alex is holding the ball down low. Edie is pressuring him right there. TMT teammates, I believe. Dave trying to get it in the zone. Chris Thorpe doing a great job of staying on sides. Court awareness there. That's that's something that uh, takes a while to learn, but when you when you can use it well. And Sean zigzagging up and down the court, and he mishandles it. Teal doing a great job being in the right position to make him make that mistake. And Alex shoots it wide. Adam getting the ball, looking to Teal at the point. Teal at the point with lots of space and time. That's the shot Becca. across. Ooh. Oh, that Whitman Vikings connection almost got us a goal. Owen with a great keep there with his hand. That ball was chest level. And Adam down low. Ooh, way to keep that. Becca with it in the corner. You gotta aim. You cannot see that. Um, no. I can't see that. I just push it in. What do you mean? Like, I went like around and handled it. Oh. And Jamie Brennan running through. Gets it in the zone. Looks like he's trying to slow things down a little bit. Ball to Sean, and he overruns it a little bit. Owen does a great job of getting there. And the ball is down low. Yeah, like that. Yeah. And the ball is to Simon right there. I'm good. Oh, and the ball is kept in by Owen. Great slap shot. 
Goes behind the goal. Eric gets it behind there. And there's Simon in the corner with Adam. Simon does a good job of getting the ball around Maddie there. Zigzagging also. Some of these defensemen on Punk really love running up and down the court. As as they, as running as from defense. Very good move. As long as your, uh, your wingers can help back, that is uh, an asset that uh, is something that is really helpful for a yeah. team. And Adam gets nice it past Adam. Megan. Alex Schultz runs in there with that quick speed to cut off Adam, though. And we got the ball behind the goal. Good Alex ball. running right around Adam. Uh, one of the fastest guys in the league. Oh, wow. How did he beat Owen down for that? Really good way to run for the ball there. He really shows. Yep. Sean, Sean keeping it in the zone. And there's Maddie getting it. She takes it out. Gets it out of the zone, but not into their zone. Sean gets it down, but it was from the neutral zone, so there's no icing there. And you got Owen with the ball to Brett. Challenging. And that'll be an ice in the ball. Yes. Brett was not in the zone yet. And it is just the second period, so there's no penalty there. It's like we're joined by Jay Hunter. Welcome, Jay. So we got a D zone draw for the ball hogs. Looks like it's Alex and Alex. Two very speedy guys. And Keith takes a shot on goal. Mel was able to get there in time. Alex with the ball, up to Adam, but Sean picks it off before it can get out of the zone. Great, great job of using his body to give him some space right there. Keith with the ball, Rister, and goal for Funkmaster. It is now two to one off of goal from Keith right there. He, he does such a good job of having the ball from the faceoff circle right there, curling in and just, that Rister has more speed than most people's slap shots. Keith from Sean right there. Alex. Ooh, Alex. Megging him. Ooh. Missed goal. Oh my goodness. Amazing play. That would have been a highlight goal right there if he was able to finish there. Yeah, Alex Ortiz the still with zero D2 goals. He's, he's, he's going to finish. He's got to finish on one of these. Um, the still talent. trying to get it out of the zone. Adam doing a great job there. Get it in the zone. Pass get it back to Becca. Becca. Becca is not able to keep it in though. She, it looks like she tripped her own player there. Alex Schultz running through. Mel doing a good job of covering that up, though. Yep. We got a little tussle between the Alexes. Get in there, Alex. No, not the same name. <laughs> He's an ex. He's an ex. Yeah. Alex Ortiz gets the call. For roughing. That'll be a power play for Funk. Yep, so we got a power play uh, with 7.20 around left in the second period. Uh, Funk is down 2-1. to one. So let's see how uh, Ball Hogs can work on this power, uh, this uh, penalty kill. Offsides to Keith. Yep. Yeah, you really can't leave him open in a power play like that. Yeah, you can't leave him open. Anytime that shot is just a uh, goalie's got to just be in the right position. They usually can't even get a eye on that. Christoph getting it, getting it deep. Uh, there's no icing since it is a power play. Penalty kill. Yeah, power play. Uh, Simon carrying it up. Making a challenge him. Takes a shot from all the way back there. Mel hitting it into the corner. And Dave Sadu's got it. Let's see if he can. Uh, Get out of the zone there. Kept in by Mara. Edie gets it on goal. Passes it up to Chris Thorpe. Let's see if Chris can uh, get something going here. Gets it out of the zone, but Becca gets it in the zone. Chris probably taking a shot on goal there. It looks like it was blocked by Simon. Keith with the ball. Simon running down there. And gets to do. Dave getting there first. Ooh, not able not to get it up you on want it. To put that, especially with Keith right there. Keith, Simon, a lot of these guys on Funk just—they—they got some great shots. The first ladies' game to get streamed today is a good question.
Here's Jamie. Ten seconds left on the power play. Again, got to stop clearing to the middle. Nice stop by Nick Mosier. And we are Bunk even. Masters. Bunk Masters are not able to capitalize on that. And Ball Hogs get a full switch right there. Their power play, their penalty killed unit doing a great job. Sean with it behind the goal, and it's picked off by, by Alex. Alex Ortiz. Shot on goal, caught by Eric Tam. Yeah. It was a great job by Alex uh, picking the ball off, but not able to capitalize. Yeah, he'll take the face off against Schutz. Alex on Alex, and uh, Alex Schutz wins it back. Ball's on goal, so there's no icing. And uh, battle between Adam and Dan right there, but Adam gets it around. Got to get to him the zone. Pass it to Alex. to Alex Ortiz, who keeps it, gets a shot on goal, and Eric will catch that. Yeah. With uh -huh. an off bounce off of, I think, Sean's stick? Yeah, you like, would have liked to see Alex look for uh, Maddie. She was very open on the back post, but sometimes when you got a head of steam, you can't really. Well, Alex see Ortiz as well as just we really wants to score a goal. Yeah. Um, he has yet to do that. However, Maddie did pull in earlier. Yeah. Adam and uh, Sean going at it. Um, no calls or anything like that, just plain physical. Still in the corner. Yeah, still in the corner there. Shot on goal by Adam. Alex with the ball down low. And Alex gets a goal. Yeah, Alex! <laughs> So it is now three to one. Alex Ortiz with his uh, first goal. first G two goal, um, really showing that he's uh, he's meant to be here. Uh, yep. We believe he's got a good future in D two. Um, there's the ball. Looks like Neil is able to get it, but poking him. Neil keeps it, passes to the center. But that'll Neil, be picked off by Nick. Yep. Neil uh, was looking for the family connection there. Too bad Nick was not on his team this game. Uh, great pass by Maddie to Adam there. Uh, Fred is calling for it at the point. He has been hungry. It's has been great shot so far. Teal gets to the ball. Able to get it around her pass Mara. Great job by Teal there. Adam not quite keeping it there. Simon shoots wide. And Brett has it. Gets it to Teal. Picked off and Simon has it. Offside on Funkmaster. So about 2.20 left in the second period. It's a 3 1 game with Ball Hogs leading. Uh, goals from Alex Ortiz, Maddie, and, uh, and Chris Thorpe. And uh, Funkmasters with a goal from uh, Keith. Alex Ortiz and Jamie. Uh, Alex gets it out. And Edie's able to get it into the zone for uh, Funk. Fred doing a good job of getting there. No icing though, no icing. So we got Chris checking, or running at Sean. Alex Ortiz to stop. Sean keeping it behind the goal. That one. And the ball is all the way down. It looks oh, like we're going to get icing. icing. So. So we got a face off between Alex Ortiz and Jamie. And it is kept in by Brett. Great job there because Keith was coming with the head of steam at him. Okay, so we got the ball. It is now in the ball hog zone. Dave's to do with it. Under a minute left in the second period. Don't expect ball hogs to try to get a shot on. Oh, and Becca takes a shot. Sean. <laughs> <laughs> 
Looks like the crowds up here are, are going a little wild now. We've got a couple hundred people here at the Sportsplex. Uh, really crowded in. I mean, there are a couple hundred people here. Yeah. They uh, might not all be watching this game. You can hear the crowd going wild here. And Carlos is joining us. Carlos, we missed, we missed you out there reffing this today, bud. Uh, could have used your could have used a couple calls. And Brett takes a slap shot with three seconds left, and it looks like we will wind down the second period there. Woo! <laughs> uh, so it is now a three to one game going into the third period. So that means that there will be a penalty for icing um, if this keeps up for uh, the ball hogs. So, Alec, what are you seeing out of these teams? What would you like to see more out of for ball hogs? Uh, way to put me on the spot, the guy who really doesn't know much about hockey. But uh, I think their offensive pressure has been really good. Uh, Alex Ortiz and Adam Marcus especially taking advantage of their speed to just kind of hit the ball forward and keep going. Uh, Alex almost dancing around the defense. However, uh, Punk Masters have plenty of players that can do that as well, yeah. like Alex Schutz and Sean. Uh, Funk Masters have some great shooters out there. They really need to um, use that, capitalize, uh, just uh, put some more shots on goal. Uh, Mel's faced a lot of very difficult shots. Uh, she's only let one in so far, and uh, they can keep putting those uh, heaters on. So we have the ball drop between Nick Mosier and uh, Alex Schutz. Ooh, maybe not the best pass there, but it worked out. It's out. It's into the uh, ball hog zone there. Owen will take that. Plenty of space. Passes it over to Adam. He keeps it. And sends That's that into very the deep into the zone, but from their neutral zone, so there's no icing. Nick running at ball. Oh, wow. Great job by Nick to get around Alex. Alex Schutz doing a great job of getting down low. And the ball is back in the Funk Master zone. Simon. Oh, Adam going. Adam doing a great job there. The goalie Ooh. Eric Tavener doing his patents and come way too far out of the goal. Uh, and the ball is knocked down low for an icing. But it is Funk Masters that ices it, so there's no penalty. Wait, can you make that too? Yeah, it's on. We've got referee Josh Bush about to drop the ball. It is a uh, white with dark stripes. Uh, not exactly the referee uniform, but very aware who it is, and Adam Marcus oh, Adam with a goal with from goal. from Becca. Uh, great, <laughs> great job right there to uh, take a step in there. Um, so now it is four to one. Um, and we'll have a puck drop between uh, or ball drop between uh, Alex and Keith. Ooh. Alex gets it to Adam. Adam, Adam whips a little bit in the shot, but Adam's doing a great Ooh. job of getting it, keeping the ball down low, keeping possession. Um, Alex trying to get around Sean there. Around gets the it to down. Adam. And another goal for Alex Ortiz from Adam. Ball hogs taking it into another gear this period. That is now five to one for them. Uh, this uh, this this line, it, it seems like if you're on the ball hogs and you have a name that starts with an A, you just know how to score today. So that's two for Alex, one for Adam, one, one for, for Maddie, Maddie, and one for Chris. So really, really doing a good job of spreading the scoring out. Uh, that's a sign of a great team. Is uh, when you get a lot of players to contribute, to play their best. We've got Chris and Simon, some very tall guys going at it down there. Uh, Keith running through. Jamie getting it back to Keith. Keith trying to get a uh, wrist shot off, but it looks like he had about three people on him. Yeah. Uh, Bog's really doing a good job capitalizing on uh, shutting Keith down. 
They know he has that shot. He will put that off from almost anywhere on yeah. the court. Ball Hogs are doing a great job of working the matchup game. Yep. Defending defending different player or defending players differently is uh, not an easy thing to do. And we've got the ball down low. Simon with it. Gets it around Nick. And Jamie almost able to, able to get out of the zone. Chris Thorpe with Chris a, keeping that in. Chris Thorpe with a great stick lift on Keith right there. I mean, Keith was winding up for a shot from downtown, and uh, he was able to get there. And look at Maddie. Look how much space she has over there. She's looking for help, and it looks like she almost had some. And Nick and Adam are not able to get there. Steal. <laughs> So we got another face-off between the Alexes over there with about 10.30 left in the third period. So Ball Hogs uh, in D2, if, uh, they get an icing that is a, uh, a two-minute penalty. Ball down low to Becca, or from Becca to Alex down low. Keith, uh, looks like he kind of ran through Alex right there. He's very Alex large. Alex a lot of speed. Yeah, uh, he, he knows how to run down those balls. Love to see fast people in the league. Yeah. Also love to see the not as fast. I mean, they, they have other great attributes. Eric Tavener coming out really far. But uh, doing a great job with his stick there. Uh, very confident with his stick, which, I mean, in many chances can be a really, really good asset to have as a goalie. I know Kevin Shea is also a big fan of the... Uh, and almost gets a goal with Alex there. Uh, screening the goalie, but Eric was able to get down on the butterfly and block that off. Ball down low. Alex hitting it out of the air like a tennis racket. Uh, really, really great hand-eye coordination there. We got Owen with the ball. A lot of space. Becca getting it deep. Oh, Adam with a great job right there. Really keeping it there. Yeah. Uh, just because your team is up by a couple goals does not mean you can give up. Yeah. Or let up at all. And uh, Ball Hogs is really putting all the pressure on right now still. Doing yeah. a great job. Adam with the ball. Oh. Megan with a good uh, stick block right there. Adam to Maddie. Maddie getting it down low. She does not care that Simon's got a lot of size on her. She is she was doing a great job there using size to box out. And the ball's right below us and Tamara who's able to get it out of the zone. Simon puts it on. And it was deflected off Mel. Weird bounce off her but not a weird bounce in the goal. Dave Sidhu gets it up to Maddie. And we've got Adam down there right now. Simon able to get it. And it is a shot that goes wide, right? Dave Sidhu has it. Able to get it above the defense. Edie gets it to Keith with Adam coming at him. Keith to Sean. Sean gets it to Megan right there. Maddie almost able to get around Edie there. Nick Mosier, Nick coming, Mosier in. coming out of nowhere to help the team out. Adam with the going for the stick on uh, Sean, but Sean just dribbling for days out here. He's got to make sure he's uh, going the right direction. He gets it down to Megan. Players uh, as talented as Sean and Keith, you got to make sure that you're always going to um, Both are. Amazing stick handlers, great shots. It looks like Jamie's cutting in the middle right there. Really can't leave Jamie open like that. No, no. Well, it looks like he was coming off the bench. Ah, okay. Great switch by the centers there. <laughs> yep. Jamie with it. Tries to get a good pass around, but Brett is there. Take Megan. And Mel freezes it. Mel did a great job of covering up uh, anything on the ground right there. 
So we have a 5 to 1 game with 6 30 left. This is the third period, so. Um, Ball Hog's doing a great job so far. No icings, no uh, mistakes not letting up. I, I believe have two this period and have let up zero. So, uh, Alex Ortiz for the Alex, run. Alex Ortiz, his hair like that, he looks like Sonic the Hedgehog running around. You know, hear the music in the background. And Alex shuts. Another speedy Alex. Gets a pass off to Jamie, but it's like Teal is there to block it. Great job, but Teal too. And we have a penalty. And a timeout. So let's see what these uh, penalties are for. At 5.52, we've got a timeout for uh, Green. I think the penalty was on Teal, it looks like. So, Monk looks like they um, they have a lot of guys who can pretty much rotate to any position. So they uh, these guys are ready to uh, put some shots on goal this power play. Uh, Mel, I'm sure, is just preparing herself mentally, thinking gonna have some real heaters coming at me. Um, better be ready. So uh, we have ball hogs on the penalty kill. Got Adam and Jamie on the faceoff. And uh, Adam wins it. Owen gets it. Mara keeps it in the zone, though. Owen gets it to Maddie, who gets it out. Great job, Maddie, just being in the right place. Keith getting it up to Simon. Simon's doing a good job of getting it in the zone. Shot goes wide. Owen kicks it all the way down. Yep. Eric will come out of the goal for that. Uh, I don't think Eric ever went back in the goal. Yeah, probably not. Uh, so Keith dribbling it. Give me the shoot. Took a slap shot, but it was deflected off Adam's stick. Adam doing a good job of uh, stepping up on him, knowing where the shooter is. Oh, Brett stopping that with his foot. Great yep. Uh, looks like Ball Hogs are really trying to get a shot, see if they can beat Eric while he's uh, a couple feet outside of his crease right now. Look at that. You, you get a guy, if you get someone who can catch him off guard, get maybe a bounce off the wall, mm -hmm. uh, you, you're looking at both. Eric pretty much playing as another defender out there. And there and is Adam almost. trying to take that. Exactly. Goal. What Eric happens when you put some pressure on the goalie? Yep. Uh, everyone's human, they make mistakes. Uh, so Simon a shot on goal. Jamie trying to deflect it there, but Owen uh, keeping him out of the zone. And the ball goes all the way down, but there's no ice six since they are on the penalty oh. kick. And Maddie with almost oh. her second goal. That is that's the Great four right checking by Maddie. He's got to get back quick though, otherwise the uh, team's gonna be overwhelmed in sheer numbers. Yep. And now the like, four on three. It looks like Maddie's back in the zone, mm -hmm. uh, covering the point over here. Yeah. Dave Sadu does a great job of getting the stick on it and getting it deep. Eric over there has it down, and we have Keith with a little bit of space. Keith with a little great bit of space is Mel. a lot of bit of space. Absolutely great block by Mel. Megan in the corner. Uh, Dave is able to pick it off her. Tried to get it up the wall, but Sean was there. Puts a shot on goal. Ooh. And Melly does a diving save. Great job there by her. And the ball is in the corner. Yeah, it's behind the screen. Over to Simon, Simon on the point. In the zone. Uh, looks Great like deflection by Nick. Nick. And the ball is out of the zone. With uh, four, four about four five, minutes five. left. Um, can't, can't imagine there's too much time left in this power play. Uh, yeah, the penalty should expire at 3.25. Because I think that's when the timeout and yes. the play stops. So the ball is out of the zone. Oh, and no. Edie keeps it in there. Uh, doing a great oh, yeah, job. actually, they're full. Oh, the ball is So it is, we are all full up right now with 3.40 or so left. And that'll be a penalty call, probably a slash. Or a uh, interference. Yeah. Not Shuts sure one down. Not sure 
this penalty is, but a, or a hooking, maybe? Yeah, called on Owen. Uh, so the ball hogs are roughing. Okay. All right. So um, we are back on the power play for ball uh, for Funk Masters. Uh, you have to think that down by four, uh, they're thinking of uh, pulling the goalie, and it looks like I can't I can't tell if Eric's ready to be pulled or just playing in his position, but he is very far out of the goal. Yeah. Um, Adam doing a great job of knocking it deep. Man, I feel like Eric basically was playing as another defender. They might not pull him at all. Um, great catch by right now. Yeah, absolutely. After those, that rocket of a shot. Yeah, those are those are not easy to see, but uh, Mel's had a lot of practice. Uh, I'd seen shots of that degree, and she really gets there. And Sean almost gets it in the corner there, but uh, Mel doing a good job of deflecting it, and he's now in the corner with the ball, looking for a pass. Getting up, Keith with a shot. Teal doing a good job of getting her stick there to deflect the ball a little bit. Yep. Sorry, folks, the ball is a little bit low. Keith with another one. Oh, Mel catching it in her helmet. Yep. She's just catching balls. Helmet, jersey, pads, everything. I mean, not matter to her. To in, in D2 to uh, be. In D2 to have a team and one goal with this little time, especially a fully loaded Funkmaster team. She's playing great. Yep. But the story of the game right now has to be Alex Ortiz finally getting those uh, two goals. And that is a goal from JP. Not JP, yeah. Uh, from Jamie, Jamie Brennan. Jamie. Uh, it looks like Mel was on the ground and uh, he just knocked it through the five hole there. Um, but is the question is, is it too little too late? Uh, we are about 1.30 left since the since it's more than a one goal difference, we will be not Rolling stopping the, the ball, uh, not stopping the clock at all. Yeah. So we've got the ball down low, about a minute 10 left, a three goal game. And ball hogs get it out of the zone. Mel hitting it wide to Brett behind the goal. Brett with a little bit of space. A good job of getting it up there. In the corner, back to Brett. Keith stepping in there. Nice block the by Alex. Jamie doing a good job. Mel doing a great job of uh, reflecting that one. Yeah, it's getting wide. Very, very wide. Oh, Alex Ortiz is in. With a little bit of steam. Getting, trying to get it to Chris there. Those two accounting for a lot of goals together on uh, yep. TNT and the NBHL. He's going to shoot this probably. Alex and Ortiz getting in his way. Passes it up to Jamie. And Alex. Oh, put that on. Get that hat trick out. Alex with a little bit of space. Uh, Eric coming out of the goal to stop that one. We've got 15 seconds left. You have to think this is a Boggs game. We'll see if someone can uh, capitalize, get one last second shot. Ooh, great and ups by Jamie on that. Oh, there are basketball who's up out here, but uh, he's doing a great job. And that is it, folks. Five to two. Your Ball Hogs, the new D2 team, are remaining undefeated. After beating the uh, Funkmaster Redux, they uh, they are really impressing. This team just plays great team hockey. Uh, it just really uh, showing uh, this D2 division that uh, there are some new people in town to look out for. And with that, uh, we are signing off. Thanks for joining us, and uh, hope to see you next game.